And today, let's talk about how I created this shot. Today, I'm gonna to go over the shot setup and do a Photoshop tutorial so that you guys can recreate this at home or for a client so that you can get some extra cash for your projects. Let's go. Okay, lights. All right, guys, and if you haven't yet, hit that like button and subscribe so you can get more videos like this one. All the gear that I use will be available in the links below. If you choose to purchase from them, it will help support this YouTube channel. Now, how did I create that floating product photograph? First off, it's created with two or three separate images with the same exact lighting and focus setup. What that means is first, I set up my lights and grab my focus. I only use two lights for this. And it's important to make sure that you have autofocus turned off because if you don't, it will cause your focus to shift from photograph to photograph and this will be a major pain later. Next, I'm gonna take the picture with the product. Now I'm gonna hold it up towards the lens without my fingers or my hands in the way and this will help when I'm extracting it later. The next picture is gonna be of just my hand. I'll position it accordingly. And just for safety, I'm not sure if we're gonna to need to use this, but it's always good to have one. Just a clean plate of just the background. So to create this photograph, I'm shooting in my Sony a7 III and I have my Nifty 50 attached. I'm gonna have a link pop up about the Nifty 50 because it's a really important lens and I think every photographer should have it in their bag. And I'm also using the Sony app on my phone so that I can have remote control access to my camera. Now with all my photographs taken, I'm gonna take my memory card out of my camera and put it into my computer and open up my weapon of choice when it comes to photo manipulation, Photoshop. Okay guys, so I have all the images imported and Photoshop already open with the photos in there. Uh, I have my background there, which is the plate. Uh, the image with just me and the lens. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is separate the lens from the background. To do that, we're gonna press P on our keyboard and start tracing around using the pen tool. Now, if you don't know how to do this, I do have a video covering this. I will link it above. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna speed ramp this segment. Now, once I have the lens completely traced with the pen tool, I'm gonna to right click it, click make selection, then press control C and control V, and that will create a new layer with just the lens in it. Now I can move the lens anywhere I'd like, but I'm gonna position it to where I think it looks best. My framing is a little off, so I'm gonna also make the background a little bit larger. I'm gonna press V on my keyboard, select the background layer with me in it, and make it slightly larger. Now to slightly stylize the look of this lens, I wanna add some lighting on the left side and the right side, and I wanna color match the lights that I had behind me. I'm gonna right click on the thumbnail of the lens, select pixels, I'm gonna press B on my keyboard, make sure that this is pretty large. I wanna select this green color for this area. And right out here, I'm gonna kind of add the green glow. And on this side, I'm gonna add the pink glow. And I'm gonna to continue to add some green glow on this side. And that is how I created that photograph. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, be sure to leave a comment below and let me know. And if you know anybody that could benefit from this tutorial, be sure to share it with them. And all right guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.